The fastest man in Irish history, Paul Hessian's 15-year-old Irish record for 100 metres falls in Munich at the European Athletic Championships. Israel Olatunde, good morning and congratulations. Good morning. Thank you so much for having me on. Uh, Israel, it was fantastic race. Um, you maybe slightly slowish out of the blocks, but then at the end you stormed through. I thought you had fourth, to be quite honest. Yeah, like it's. Um, yeah, I knew I got a little bit slower than the rest of the guys, but um, that's something me and my coach have been working on, just staying relaxed in my second half of the race, not focusing on what other people are doing, focusing on my own race and just finishing out strong. Um, I had no idea where I ended up, to be honest. I was looking up at the big screen, trying to figure things out. Um, but yeah, when I saw my name up there in sixth place, you know, like I, like I can't ask for much more than that. Sixth place in the European final at 20 years old, you know, I was really proud of myself and I was just grateful to be there, to be honest. Yeah, I mean, you had been second in uh, your semi-final to Marcel Jacobs, who went on to to win it. Uh, and then there were uh, two British athletes who uh, were ahead of you. But really, uh, for the rest of the places, you were right in the mix. And as I said, I thought you were fourth. But there you go. Yeah, for sure. Like, I think, you know, it's something that would be, me and my coach have been working on, just being able to be competitive at at a stage like this and I'm just really proud that I was able to pull it off and actually give my best performance you know it's great to compete against these guys you know I've been growing up over the last few years watching these guys compete on the TV and now to be to have my name amongst them really means a lot to me and I'm, yeah. I'm excited to continue on this path that I'm on. Yeah. Had you sights on Paul Hesh's record I mean uh, you are the current uh, champion anyway before last night the current Irish 100 metre champion um, had you your sights on Paul? I mean from the time I started in, in athletics, from when I started sprinting, I've always dreamed of being the national record holder in 100 metres. But, you know, this season, I kind of want to just focus on, you know, making it to the Europeans and putting a good performance. I wasn't too focused on the time. I knew the times will come eventually when the time was right. And, you know, last night, everything just clicked. And I'm really grateful I was able to um, grab the record. But Paul, he's a class act. He's an amazing sprinter. He set the target for us all to chase. And, and I'm just grateful to be able to kind of carry on that legacy for sure. Now, uh, you're an Ad Astra elite uh, athlete in uh, UCD where you do all, all of your training. But I, I was reading, there's a lot of stuff written about you. You haven't probably seen the papers from home at all. A lot of stuff written about you. And it appears you credit the women in your family for your talent. Yeah, 100%. Um, I, received some, first I received so much support from UCD um, and Ad Astra Academy. I'm really grateful to be part of something so great. But, um, but yeah, <laughs> my mom... I, get, I think I get my sprint jeans from her. She used to run back in Nigeria. And uh, my sister as well, she's kind of the one that got me interested in athletics. Um, just with the local club, Dean Dog and AC, and with our coach, Jerry Ricardo. That's where my sister started off. And I kind of just followed along and got involved through her. Yeah, watching you run last night, uh, the, the fact that, uh, and you've said it yourself, you know there are things you can do to improve. You're only 20. You'll become stronger and faster. Yeah, 100%. You know, like, I think... It's great, you know, to enjoy these moments, you know, um, they don't come too often, but at the same time, like in a few weeks, you know, we all reflect on this season and with my coach Daniel Kilgallen and just see what we can improve on next year. There's always things to improve on. You know, I'm still young. I still have a long journey in this in this game and I'm excited to just improve and just see where I can take this in the future. Now, you, your parents uh, came to Ireland. You were born in Dundalk. Uh, you have like two sets of fans. I'm sure Nigerians everywhere are egging you on as well as all of us who cheer on the green yeah for sure like i'm i can i can feel the love from all over to be honest from the irish community and from the smaller irish nigerian community as well you know everyone has just really gone behind me it's just really great to see like honestly like it, it kind of i'm a very self-motivated person but you know to be able to see you know people kind of coming together to support me like really really pushes me to newer heights i think and it's allowed me to achieve this great achievement you know become the sixth fastest man in europe this year and to break the national record, for sure. Now, you are, I suspect, a big uh, inspiration to your uh, teammates as well. We know that Rasidat Delecki has been, uh, she's got into the final as well. Kira McGeehan, Andrew, Mc, uh, Andrew Koskaran. Uh, it's a fantastic team performance. Yeah, 100%, I think. Um, they're the ones kind of inspiring me. You know, I'm one of the younger guys on the team. You know, I'm looking to them for just for advice and for guidance and you know, just seeing them, how they've performed over the last few years has really you know, inspired me. And I'm just grateful to be on a team with so many 
great athletes and especially Rashida, you know, me and her, we, 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 we go way back and we're good mates and it's just great to see like her smashing it this season, breaking record after record. So I'm really grateful to share a team with her this, uh, this, this, this championship and I'm excited to watch her in the final tonight. Yeah. Uh, one of our presenters here on News Talk, Shane Coleman, he went to the same school that you went to and I, he was right. tearful this morning. He was tearful. <laughs> that, really, that really means a lot to me, 100%. Yeah. Anyway, we're, we're all very uh, happy and proud for you. And once again, uh, Israel, congratulations. Uh, you still have uh, another task ahead of you. You'll be in the relay team. Yeah, for sure. We have the relay running the 4 by 100 meter relay on Monday morning um, at 9 a.m. Irish time. So it'd be great if uh, all the everyone back, back home gives us support and cheers us on. It's great to have a team, um, a 4 by one team here at the European Championship. So we hope we can do the country proud for yeah. sure. And finally, any word from Paul Hessian yet? Um, yeah, he sent me a really nice message last night. You know, I'm, you know, I was a bit starstruck. I was a bit in awe that he would send me a message. So I was really grateful for that. Um, it's just it's amazing to even be in the same conversation as such a, a great sprinter. And you know, I'm excited, as I said, just to continue on the legacy and pass on pass on the baton, I guess. Well, once again, Israel, congratulations and thank you very much for joining us on the programme today. Israel is inspirational, says Sharon. We're all very, very proud of him and lots more congratulations coming in in that regard.